Hey YouTube, Night 16 here, and uh, today I'm finishing up this uh, little mag holder. I've dyed it and I've, I've uh, punched it and all, and so now I'm just going to sew it up. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you how to use an easy sew all. Now this is one of the best tools that I own. I love it. Uh, you can buy these at Harbor Freight for I think around seven dollars, and they come with a, a metal spool with a cap and it comes with thread. It's not sinew, it's like a it's like a cotton thread, I think. But anyway, uh, I'm not gonna be using that, but it's exactly the same thing. I'm gonna be using some uh, synthetic sinew that I have. And the great thing about this, you can use anything to sew with it. I've even used a fishing line one time just to see if I could do it, and it's, it's possible. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, uh, it has a hole in the handle right here sure you can see that and what you do is you want to take your thread and put it through that hole all right so now you want to take your thread you want to take the chuck off and take your thread and put it in this slot on the top in front of this tack give yourself plenty of line okay so now you have two needles a bent one and a straight one I always use a straight one and the needle has a notch and you want that notch to be lined up with this notch. So you go ahead and put your thread inside this notch and then put it inside the eye. And like I said, there's a little notch in the needle that you want to line up with this notch. So then you take your chuck and, th uh, and your thread, put it through there, and screw that down. All right, so now the general rule is you want as much thread to go around as what you're sewing. So then you take, you want to take some thread. I usually don't put it in that hole, by the way, but if you're using a spool inside of it, you need to, but I usually don't. And you just wrap that around the tack. All right. Okay, so go ahead and go through the first hole. All right. So now you want to take the loose end, this end that is not connected to the spool, it's on this side, and pull it all the way out. Just like that. Now pull this out, go to the next hole, push in. Okay, it should look just like this. Empty end on the left, and your uh, needle inside the second hole. Okay, now pull it out to make this loop. And we want to take the loose end and put it inside of this loop. And pull and then pull this and see you can see the loop come through on this side and so you just want to pull it on the other side just like that so you can't see it just makes it look nicer and that's how you use it well, I'll show you again now when you get to this point you're gonna have to take loose the tack you're gonna want to give yourself a little bit of room give me some more slack here uh, that's probably about good for now and you're just going to keep doing that as you go through. So pull in, make a loop, push in, and pull tight. And see, that'll make it that long up here. You see the loop, pull it back from that side, and there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. It's been Night 16. Not out.